Welcome back to Closing Bell on the 11th September 2020. Finally, it's the Friday. Before I begin the show, I would like to share one quote of wisdom. The financial stock market is designed for the transfer of money from the impatient to the patient by Warren Buffett. Yes, this famous quote is shared by Warren Buffett and I've always placed that in my heart and in my mind to remember. The reason why I say this today is because the stock market in the last 10 days has been volatile, but it's not gone anywhere. It's not gone up or neither gone down. It's gone sideways. It's playing with everybody's mind. So if you start playing with stock markets like this, that's not going anywhere. It's just going to burn you. As you can see on Friday, it's a replica on Thursday. The stock market's gone up, tricking you that it's going to go in a bear market and then falling back down again, tricking you into this momentum. As we stand just now, we are looking on the indicator. We are having a second black crow. Yes, what's a second black crow? Second black crow is a bearish indicator where it shows a red followed by a replica red on the decline. And if a third one shows up, it's a very, very strong, very strong indicator that it's going to go on a decline. And one thing I'd like to bring up is this chart here, which I've used my Fibonacci retracement on the NASDAQ or the TAC 100 US. As you can see, it's pretty scary here. As you can see, I've plotted from the top height all the way to the lowest at COVID-19 back in March. As you can see, 0 to 100%. As you can see, for some bizarre coincidence, there's a line drawn that we currently are sitting at the very resistive supportive floor here. And it's either going to go up or go down, but it looks like there's a lot of resistance. A lot of, a lot of uh, short sellers are trying to pull it down, are trying to create a bearish trend, trying to pull it down. So following on next week, depending on the sentiment, if it comes down again, it will most likely break the floor and then we will hit, we will be going on the way down to the next slowdown. So it shows that there might be a big sell off. I'm sorry to be always selling that as a market sell-off, but these are the indicator that's shown, indicator technically to break down all this emotion, to understand what traders, option traders, to understand what fund managers are thinking, looking and liquidating and moving cash forward. So we retail investors, we have to learn trends like this. And this is me sharing from my vision, from my visual perspective. So if it was me, I would keep my cash close to my chest to see what's happening. It's not time to jump in and jump out. Just be aware of what you're getting. So we have to watch it day by day. I cannot predict what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm just looking at the indicator to forecast what these big players are thinking. And I hope you've enjoyed this whole week of the opening and closing bell. I hope to see you on Monday next week reporting on the futures and what will happen again. So please do leave comments below and also subscribe to my channel that I will share different wisdom with different technical analysis and different um, topics that I can think about. I've got a long list written on my board here and I hope to share that with everyone very, very soon. So thank you for the support. I really appreciate this and hope to see you next week. Bye.